Hello, in this video we have uh, three sets, A, B, and C, and they're non-empty. And we're going to prove that A cross C is a subset of B cross C, if and only if A is a subset of C. So this is the Cartesian product. So if you have um, A cross B, this is the set of all ordered pairs of the form A comma B, such that um, A is in A and uh, B is in B. Okay, let's go ahead and prove this if and only if statement. To do that, we'll, we have to prove two directions. So I'm going to start by uh, proving this direction here. So we assume this is true, and we have to show this is true. So we'll start by writing down our assumption. So suppose that A cross C is a subset of B cross C. Okay, that's our first assumption, and we have to show that A is a subset of B. So let me just write that down. So claim A is a subset of B. Okay. So to show A is a subset of B, we have to show that every element in A is in B. So the next step is to assume that we have an element in A, and then go from there. So take, whoops, a little dot there. Take any Uh, let's say little a in capital A. And now we have to show little a's in B. So we somehow have to use uh, this. So it would be nice to use it. And to use it, we need to come up with an ordered pair. This is where the non-emptiness comes into play. So we can create a C. So since C is non-empty, there exists some little c in capital C. So thus, a comma C is in A cross C, right? Because A is in A and C is in C. But this is a subset of B cross C by assumption. So this means that A comma C, well, if it's a subset, every element in A cross C is also in B cross C. Well, AC is here, so in particular, this one is also in B cross C. And what does this mean? So this means really nice argument. This means little a is in b and c is in c. But we don't care about c and c, we just care about little a. So to emphasize that we write in particular because this is what we are concerned with. Little a is in b. And that's how you do it, right? We started by showing, by taking an element in a and showing it's in b. So thus a is a subset of B. So that proves um, that direction there. Let's let's do the other direction. These are really fun. You know, I haven't I didn't do this problem before making this video, so it's always fun to, to figure these out. So we'll start by assuming this is true, and then we have to show this is true. So suppose A is a subset of B. And the claim is that A cross C is contained in B cross C. So we have to show that every element in this set is also in this set. So we'll start by taking an element in this set. And note, we do have elements in this set. C is not empty, so it's really a non-issue. So take any. This direction is a little bit easier. I'll use x, y. x, y, and a, a cross C. So what does this mean? So this means that x is in A, going a little bit faster, sorry, and y is in C. And so now we have to use our hypothesis, right? A is a subset of B. So since X is an A, which is a subset of B, we also have X and B. So we have X and B. So what does that mean? Well, what are we trying to show? Um, we're trying to show that X, Y is in B cross C, right? We started with this. So now let's just reiterate. So we have, so thus, we have, what do we have? We have x and b, and y and c. Right? We have both of these conditions. So x, y is in b cross c. So we started with an element x, y, and a cross c. We showed it's in b cross c. So this shows, this shows the other inclusion. This shows 
that um, the other direction, rather, A cross C is a subset of B cross C, which is what we had to show, right? Uh, and that completes the proof. Let me just go back up and show you. So um, we had to show this statement here. Let's just go over it really quickly. Um, so we first showed this direction here. So we assume that this is true. And then we show this is true. So we did that here, followed a series of steps, used the non-emptiness of C, and then we arrived at this. So it takes care of this implication. Going the other way, we assume this was true, followed a series of steps, uh, and then we arrived at um, this statement here, this one here. So we assume this was true, we showed this was true, which is exactly what we had to do, right? So you assume this is true and show this is true. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to you in some way. Good luck.